Impaler had the, um, the, the Razor Beak Smite, so he knew there were no wards this entire path. He, in fact, warded the enemy jungle to make sure. And then here we go, completely safe grab. The oh. oh. Right. Mash at half health, though. There's the death mark over the wall. Mash is very screwed right now. Exhaust might be enough. Yep, he goes down. First blood to Hanser. Impaler dueling the enemy jungler. He's not going to win that fight either, but he misses the hit. But now Sheep forced to flay Kapoe, who is out of mana. The flash so. in. Oh, he gets hooked, though. This is going to be so close. Gets the kill. Ignite is on, though. Kop is going to go down. But it's a t what this team is all about. Yeah. All right. Well, here comes the continued dragon fight. Hanser jumps in again. Uh, Impaler is going to be going down for this one. One for zero against St. Vicious, though. Will get traded. A nice shockwave. Can they turn this around, though? A lot of damage comes through. Chris forced to flash. That's a two for one. The battle one here. Oh. And the snipe comes in for a match, making it a two for two. Coast managed to rest. Got him. Oh, the smite. St. Vicious gets revenge from game one. And that's going to be the take. Nicely done. Curse Academy. Get the first dragon. So play so far. Curse Academy looking very good in game two. Now Jess has got to be a bit careful. They're going in for this dive. Deathmark comes in nearly under the turret, but this should be almost enough damage. Yes, with that Q it is. Nice skill shot moves there. Sheep puts the box down. Can he make this happen? Bunny Fufu -Foo in the back lines, though. Going to get a great stun. The uh, damage is not nearly enough. A three for zero. Curse Academy well behind the turrets. Make that four kills. Crushing this battle. Oh, people dying everywhere. As you said, uh, in the chaos, they... Now looks like there's going to be no dragon steal attempt right there. Good smite. It's going to be picked up behind him. Defense does come in, though. Extra chip on the turret, and they can disengage. Oh, Chris, oh, though, my. just gets exploded. He's so squishy. There's so much damage in this team. Ulti off onto Impaler. He's supposed to get away from this one. Looks like Oopsies. Oh, misplay there by Keen. Jess takes him down out of the touch. They can just back off here. Oh, nice black shield, but Sheep goes in anyway. Goes in a little bit hard. Where's the ulti? Where's the flay? Does get some damage down. Cop, but he's still gonna stay alive. Mash gets bound, and a double kill comes in for the Sivir. Attack damage. And she's behind. Yeah, by like really half far an behind. item. Sheep gonna get blown up here by Keen, but maybe the damage is high enough. He's gonna ult in, but I think Chris can make this one live if the no more spells come down. Nope, he's gonna get dropped immediately. Mash doesn't have the damage to knock down Zed, and now Kasten's gonna get the slow. Mash is very screwed. All right, he's dead again. More control for Chris. Let's see if they can actually get one of these inhibitor turrets because that is really the tipping point. Oh, uh, game surrender. over. The game times get shorter and shorter. Game one, 50. Game two, 40. Game three, 26. I think the fastest game of the day. Curse Academy.